yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to 108 Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, aka Lemetheus, right hand of Zeus. And we are back with another episode today, man. And man, I got some bad and some good news. But before we get into that, let's talk about that Mega Man X classic series on the Super NES that dropped in 1993. Now you talking about a platform platformer with a ton of action and a huge amount of boss battles and special abilities? Look no further. Mega Man X from Capcom brought all that smoke and man, hours and hours of gameplay and boy, getting those separate individual powers was amazing. Now, with that being said, let's hop into this gaming news. Now, the bad piece of news today, we know games like Halo Infinite, Call of Duty, Battlefield, those are the big games, man. And when they get pushed back, we get a little disappointed but it's also some good news because that means they get a little bit more time to be worked on so right now sony is reporting that the sequel to the 2018 smash god of war reboot it looks like that ragnarok will be pushed back into 2022 now i'm looking forward to that game that is my favorite franchise it's even part of my damn shirt y'all see it but this is what's crazy. They also came out and said Horizon Forbidden West also might be getting hit by that pandemic bug. And you know what? These are gonna be two great games. They don't need to rush them. They need to get them out and get them out in a fashion where the game is complete with less bugs, more, more polished. I'm all for the smoke. Tell me in the comments what you think. Did this surprise you? It really didn't surprise me. I told everybody, I don't think either one of those games is gonna drop in 2021. But you know what? More time spent on the game is better quality for the gamer. Now, I want y'all to watch this small video from, from this AMD press conference the other day with the Fidelity FX, and I'm gonna break it down what my thoughts are. Facts. Many of you have been asking for an update on AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, and I am super excited to show you what we've come up with. So let's get right to it. There is no dispute, gamers know performance is king, whether it's an immersive AAA game or a competitive esports title. Many gamers also want to be able to turn on the latest visual technologies, like ray tracing, while maintaining an acceptable frame rate. And as I shared earlier, tens of millions of gamers are now playing on gaming laptops and we want similar experiences to what we get on the desktop PC. As a result, high performance upscaling and reconstruction have become a gaming necessity. This is why we have developed Fidelity FX Super Resolution for all gamers. <laughs> Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or FSR, is built around a state-of-the-art spatial upscaling algorithm that delivers a great gaming experience with super high quality edges and distinctive pixel detail. It greatly improves performance, especially when demanding effects like ray tracing are turned on. We have developed FSR to deliver great performance, great image quality, and most importantly, for broad adoption. On the left is the game Godfall, running at native 4K resolution with ray tracing enabled and in-game settings set to max. As you can see, the performance hovers just around 50 frames per second. By enabling FSR and setting it to ultra quality, the visual experience is practically identical. You still get that rich, true to life look and feel, but with the 59% performance uplift. Now, some of us care more about performance and some of us care more about image quality. And that's exactly why we've created four different quality settings in FSR. Gamers can expect anywhere from a 59% increase between native and ultra quality mode to over 2x increase when switching to performance mode.
Our goal at AMD is to create new technologies and features to drive the entire gaming industry forward by making them as broadly available as possible. And because the Fidelity FX suite of technologies is available on GPUopen.com for the entire industry to freely access, Fidelity FX Super Resolution will be supported across a wide range of products. FSR will be enabled on all Radeon RX 6000, RX 5000, RX 500, and RX Vega series graphics cards, and as well as on all Ryzen processors with Radeon graphics. In demonstrating once again AMD's commitment to drive the gaming industry forward, I have an exciting demo to show you next. AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution not only works on AMD hardware, but also across a wide variety of our competitors' hardware, including their most popular graphics card according to Steam, the GTX 1060. As a matter of fact, FSR will work on all GTX 10 series GPUs to current so that gamers can extend the life of their GPU even further. And for game developers, that means less proprietary code they need to implement for wider impact. AMD's Fidelity FX can provide more than 2x performance at its fastest setting and select titles. It offers four different quality settings that gamers can select and already has support from over 10 game studios and engines, with a lot more planned in 2022. And most importantly, it will be available on over 100 GPUs and CPUs, plus our competitors' products. first set of games supporting FSR will be available on June 22nd. Tell us what games you would like to see with FSR enabled by visiting amd.com forward slash FSR. And we will do our best to work with game developers to get this feature integrated into their games as soon as possible. Now, now that y'all seen the video, tell me in the comments what you think. Now I'm gonna explain some things to you that was major. First of all, Taking less work off your GPU with the AMD's Fidelity FX. Man, man, this is equaling what DLSS is doing for NVIDIA. But the fact of the matter is we got these new graphic cards. We got these new consoles. And as you heard him say, anything with RDNA 2 is supported. And they even went back to the old Vega cards. And more importantly, for the bigger market share NVIDIA graphic cards, they can use this also. But that's not really my thing. My thing is, we have two powerful consoles straight out the door. They have power. We still got to see a game to really push these consoles. Imagine having more graphics available for the developer using less power which leaves more power to use for special effects frame rate resolution this is an absolute stunning situation for console owners i think this generation like i keep telling people we will not get no pro systems they built these systems with future in the mind unlike the last Man, unlike the last generation. They gave you something good for today and brought out two pros and uh, uh, later. We're not doing that. I told everybody this is not going to happen, but I want to hear your opinion, man. This graphical fidelity update, man, from from AMD is it's, it's, it's awesome new tech. And even with DLSS, awesome new tech, which takes less power to use for these developers to be able to work with higher frame rates, better resolution, with ray tracing on, come on, we don't get no better than that. That's another reason I think that Nintendo um, Pro is gonna come out this year or whatever they are gonna call it, because now they're possibly gonna use DLSS, DLSS also, which makes it easier on the console to perform at a higher fidelity. Like and subscribe if you find any of this information helpful. You already know what it is. Dragon's Den every Saturday. Shout out to everybody that supports me. It's greatly humbling. And I'll see you in the next video. And yes, the drone video is coming. It's a lot of work. Facts.